good morning students how are you all i hope you all are fit and fine students here i am back with the revision video of chapter 5 formatting a document so let's start revision of chapter 5 formatting a document what is formatting formatting is making changes in the appearance of the text whenever we make the changes in our document to make it attractive this is known as formatting we can create and design appealing documents by changing font and its size highlighting certain words adjusting line spacing setting margins and tabs aligning text on a page creating bulleted number list changing text case applying border so how can we change font type to change the font type we have to select text then we have to go on home tab and click on it after clicking home tab under font group we have to choose the desired font type so microsoft microsoft has a default font to calibri body with 11 point size in word 2007 and word 2010 and the next topic of this chapter is changing text case word 2010 provides five types of case conversions that is sentence case lower case upper case capitalize each word and toggle case in sentence case it capitalizes the first letter of the selected sentence in lower case it converts the selected text to lower case in upper case it converts the selected text text to upper case in capitalize each word it changes the first character of each selected word to upper case and the last text case is toggle case it converts the case of every selected character in reverse manner that is a capital character will convert into lower case and vice versa next is how can we change line spacing firstly to what is line spacing line spacing is the vertical distance between successive lines of the text in a document we can increase or decrease the line spacing between a paragraph to change the line spacing we have to select the text after selecting the text we have to click on home tab under home tab we have to select paragraph group and under paragraph group line and paragraph spacing button is there just click on that and select desired options now move to our next topic of this chapter that is creating bulleted or numbered list we can format lists in a document by using bullets and numbers a bullet is a small graphic symbol that indicates items in a list to create numbered or bulleted list what we have to do is just select the text then click on home tab under the home tab paragraph group you have to select and in the paragraph group if you want to do the formatting of the list in bulleted one select the bullets button and if you have to do the formatting of the list as numbered list select the number button got it class now let's move to our next topic applying border and shading to improve the appearance and legibility of the text we can add a variety of border and shading effects to the paragraphs and the entire page to apply border and shading we have to select the text on which we have to apply border and shading then we have to click on home tab and under the home tab paragraph group we have to select and under that you have to select border button 
when we will click border button select borders and shading option will be there click on that you will get the options from that you will have to select the desired option and the last topic of this chapter is applying drop cap drop cap is a text formatting option in microsoft word that allows a user to enlarge only the first letter of a paragraph it is used to give a graceful and fancy look to the document to apply the drop cap effect we have to follow the steps and the steps are firstly we have to select bold means whatever on which you have to apply the drop cap then select insert tab under insert tab click on text group and drop cap button will be there select that and select desired option from drop down menu will be there whatever you want to select click on that and click okay now here is a revision test after completing the chapter do in your rough copy first is fill in the blanks font size refer to the height of the dash second alignment refers to the height of the dash third line spacing is the vertical distance between successive dash of the text document fourth font color button is under the dash tab fifth dash converts the selected text to lower case now second is answer the following questions first is what is the use of sentence case second explain font size third what is formatting fourth what is alignment fifth how can you create numbered or bulleted lists and the third question is write the steps to apply drop cap fourth drop border and shading dialog box label it also you, you have to do this in your rough copy after learning the chapter thank you class prepare for your half yearly exam